In most video games, your deaths are not canon. Link does not die from running off a cliff like a little idiot. He defeats Ganon and saves a princess unless you're playing this Zelda game, and then dying is actually canon and it starts like a new timeline. Maybe Zelda isn't the best example for this, but you get the point. And in LEGO Star Wars especially, your deaths aren't canon because the story is from movies where the characters survive stuff like this. So is it possible to beat LEGO Star Wars without a single death? It's harder than you think. Level 1 of Episode 1 is pretty easy. The first section just has like linear corridors with waves of droids running at you, so it was pretty easy. Easy, they all die in one hit. The next section was this big hangar room with only one spaceship. Kinda just wasted space, guys. In a normal run, you're supposed to take a death from these droidicas so you can force up the platforms with your respawn invincibility. But here, obviously, I can't do that. There's a bunch of droids when you first drop down, but they're not that hard to fight. And right there is a power-up, which grants full invincibility, regenerates hearts, and boosts attack power. I need this to get past the droidicas. The invincibility let me raise the platforms and the rest of the level was a breeze. Now me being the big brain individual I am thought, hmm, what if I went over to episode 3 and got some of the harder levels out of the way first. Like this first level, it's easy, whatever, but the next one was where it really started getting hard. Like here, I was stuck blocking with only two hearts, but this is when I discovered a surprise tool that will help us later. While blocking, if you hold a direction on your controller, you can kind of drift around when an enemy shoots at you. But whatever, that's not important yet. These two droids gave me a couple of hearts, which gave me the confidence to attack the supers. The next room was also kind of tricky. I got stuck in between these droidicas and had to time my jump perfectly to avoid getting hit. After that, I was able to use my attack invincibility to clear them out. The next room was only some mild platforming, but then it was time for the first boss fight of the run, Count Dooku. I got hit a couple times just approaching him and here while trying to reposition. And then Dooku has this lightning attack which forces you to switch to another character, but I can't get over to Obi-Wan without letting go of block, which got me killed instantly. This fight was going to be really hard, but definitely possible. The plan for next time was to take out these droids first so I wouldn't have to worry about randomly getting shot. But I didn't even make it to him next time, and it's then that I start to reevaluate my goals for a second. Like, you don't understand, this may only be like, I don't know, like two minutes into the video? But in real time, I've been going for like an hour. There's, there's a couple runs that I cut out. So I was like, okay, let's just at least do all of Phantom Menace. Level 1, easy. Level 2, easy. Level 3, not easy, I, I died. Now what made this harder is that blaster characters aren't invincible while they shoot like the Jedi are when they use their lightsabers. So I had to be really careful about timing my shots and making good decisions. I was basically playing a tactical shooter right here. Except nope, there's actually a power up right here that makes me invincible again and I can just kind of run through this room and don't have to worry about anything else. And then the rest of the level was pretty easy because all the areas were super big with the enemies spread out. But then it was time for one of the hardest levels in LEGO Star Wars history, the pod race. Nope, I'm lying, this is, this is a very easy. You might remember it being hard, but that's that's because you were a dumb piece of shit kid when you played it. It's just an auto scroll, and it's like straight up hard to die on now. But the next level? Oh god. The opening area has a bunch of droids charge at you while a bunch of other droids are up on the balcony shooting at you. But it's not too too hard, because once you defeat all the guys on the ground, you can hide behind these walls and force up the stairs. The next room is where it gets really, really hard. So you gotta force stuff to get everyone across. Cool, cool. And then you're placed into a circular room where a bunch of droids are already waiting for you. There's such a narrow entry that means that everyone is shooting at you the entire time. So yeah, I died, and then I spent like the next hour just playing LEGO Star Wars over and over again, trying not to die on the first four levels, and then getting to this one part of level five and dying. And so three tries later, which is like an hour in real time because it takes like 20 minutes to get there every time, I said, you know what? This is kind of dumb. It's late. I've been playing LEGO Star Wars for three hours. I'm going to go to bed. So no, that day I did not beat LEGO Star Wars without dying. I didn't even beat the fan a menace but then the next time i streamed well watch the next day this is the run this is the run cj for real this time for real absolutely a little later the annoying thing about this run is that i have to go through like 15 minutes of the rest of the episode to get here so every time i reset it's, it's just to get to this part and then i die but i'm not gonna die i'm not this time not this time probably you'll die no this is this is the part okay i said no i know i said no more blasters so i'm gonna come in shoot these guys <gasps> oh 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 run back run back run back can i run back to this room okay no! Oh! Oh no! That was a bad idea! <laughs> oh no! I am in a very bad situation. Here, I'm going to shield drift down the hallway that they came from. And I'm gonna see <laughs> what that does. There's nothing down this hallway. I've just cornered myself. If I can get him close enough to me, I can like slash at him. Hold up. Okay, I can do it. I can do it. Oh, she'll drift into that heart. Please, please, no. Come on, shoot, shoot, shoot. They're not shooting at me now, what? That droid is locked on Padme, so I don't have to worry about it. No, no, oh, oh. oh my God, I was so dead, I was so dead. Okay, come on. Oh, he's backing up, he's backing up. No, oh. Oh, 
<laughs> let's go. Let's go. It's possible. Oh my god. I need hearts, please. No hearts? Oh no. Uh, there's nothing I can get hearts from in here. Oh, uh, I just... I'm gonna wait for them to come to me. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna lure them <laughs> down the hallway again. Are they gonna follow me? Okay, I don't I don't think so, actually. This one guy's following me. Okay, my, my guys are blocking me from the other guys, so I can just run up and... Oh! Oh! I whiffed the first two. Oh, they're, they're breaking through, they're breaking through, they're breaking through. Uh... The, okay, I got one. I got one. If I'm close enough to them, I can deflect them. That's two. Okay, this guy, please. I think there's one guy behind us, because Panaka's shooting at him. Okay, I need to shield drift closer to him. Come on, stop backing up, because <laughs> he's running away. Okay, I don't know if there's anyone down there. Damn. Oh, okay, okay, there's there's more droids. I'm gonna shield drift back down the hall. I think we got a good thing going here. I would just spam if there wasn't the yellow guy, because he takes two hits. Just tuning in what's happening. I have one heart, and I am not allowed to die. I am fighting for dear life. Actually, if I switch to a blaster character, that could be pretty good, because they can, like, dodge shots, and these guys are not firing fast. I could also try to parry, which will instantly kill them, but that's really risky. Okay, okay, they're, they've lined up the shot, because they this guy's blocked in. Okay, heart! Oh, okay. Got another one, got another one. I can probably just spam here. Come on. Oh, let's go. Okay, three hearts, three hearts. Yeah, if I die in game, I die in real life. That's why I'm taking it so seriously. I think this room is secure. Is there anything? Oh, I should not have looked down that hallway. R2, R2, R2. They don't, they don't attack R2. We're good. We're in the next area. Okay. Can I shield drift up the stairs? It's full. That was not fine. Okay, are th is there anything else that I can break? No, that's all the hearts I get. I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have jumped at him, but it's okay. Two, four. They're not approaching. I need them to come near me. No, Qui-Gon, why, why wasn't his shield up? Oh no. <laughs> I need to lure them back down this staircase. I'm back at one heart. Come on, follow me, follow me. Come on, bro. Okay, we got this one guy. <laughs> He's coming. It's like, I'm so afraid to go in because the moment I move in, he could shoot. Okay, I'm just gonna try to bring him farther down. Oh, let me, let me drift into that heart. Please, let's go. Okay. No! Oh, yeah, no! He wasn't shielding! I pressed the button! I'm back at one heart. Maybe, please. Thank you. Okay. I don't think I need to kill these guys. I just have to keep running. Okay, I took one heart, but that's okay. Oh, uh, this is fine. Yeah, they can't hit me. Okay, I think I'm past the hardest part of this run. The next room, though, does have a ton of en enemies in it. I'm gonna try shooting them, and then I'm gonna switch to a Jedi. All right, I think that's everyone in this room. This room was easy. The next room shouldn't be too hard. Take them off. CJ, are you still here? I, I was telling you, this is the run. Bozo, what do you mean? You said that this wasn't the run. This is looking like the run. I beat this level. You, I said yes and you went to do other things. Well, you're still here. What do you mean? You're not, his ass is not being productive. The Darth Maul level was not really that hard. I used invincibility orbs to get through most of it and all I had to do to win the duel was just spam. Let's go. That doesn't count. I was playing as Obi-Wan. Let's go. <laughs> Episode one, D I, I beat it without dying. Maybe the first person ever to do it, because why would you ever do this?